Hello Aries, welcome to your August 2024 monthly reading. Aries, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your other rising, your moon rising, your Venus to see if there's any clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you. We have Six of Wands. Let's see. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you're new, I welcome you. If you're returning, I welcome you back. So thank you all for your trust, support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate all of you all. All right. Cars aren't wanting to cooperate today. Let's see what we have here. The moon. Two swords, the moon. We have the magician down here. I said this. The world. King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Pentacles. So we have a new potential coming in for maybe making money. Let's see here. Is that good? Everyone can see. Let's scooch this up a little bit. I know why everything was scooted up. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we are looking at the Six of Wands, Two Swords, the Moon. The Six of Wands and the Magician talks about moving forward, creating what you want. Um, I feel like, Aries, you're realizing that you are the creator or creatrix of your destiny, of what you want to manifest, of what you want to bring about. And the Six of Wands is your victory. It is you moving forward. It's you um, winning something, doing something that you've been wanting to do. You know, like if you've um, wanted to build a house, you built a house, or you want to renovate something, you've done it. Or if you want to finish school, you finish school, or go to school, you've, you're going to school. This is your your um, your winnings, your accolades. This is something for you. Now you could be getting. Uh, a promotion <clears throat> or a new um, new way to make money, a new job potential or recognition or something from work with the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be new money coming in somehow. Maybe they want you to do like a side job or a side hustle or something where they'll pay you extra or something. But it's, it's you, you realizing that you are creating your universe. You realizing that you hold the key to what you want to manifest. You know, how hard you want to work, how much you want to invest, how much time you want to invest. Six of Wands is a victory card. It's winning. It's it's a card of, um, you know, following through and having something to show for it. Two Swords, right in the middle with the world, can be where you are having a decision to make, and it could be about travel. So something with this new position or new job or new potential coming in that you are excited about and maybe have worked really hard for could involve travel. Uh, you will have to decide maybe if you have a family, if you, if it's worth leaving or, you know, um, not being around or how things are going to work out. There's a lot of decisions that have to be made and, uh, and the world can also be an ending of a cycle. So it could be where you have a decision to make about moving forward in a new position or a new, part of the building business, whatever, almost a business. But having this energy of I don't know, I feel like you might have felt for a while like you weren't seen or you weren't appreciated at work and I feel like you felt like you blended in. But with whatever went on here with the Six of Wands and, and this energy of being recognized, being recognized for your hard work, your due diligence, whatever, with that six of wands, you are being seen and you're being um, pulled out. You're being noticed. But there could be some travel here. The world can be an end of a cycle because this is the last card of the major arcana. You have 21 and this is the last card. And it's the, the end of the journey of the fool. You know, it's coming full circle with something. So that's a possibility, it, but it could also be travel. World card can be travel. Um, maybe they're going to want you to, you know, go to different places, or 
if, if you have an expertise, take it somewhere like that. He has a moon in the King of Cups. I'm not sure where our moon's at. I have yet to look that up for August. So you might want to check the moon in August. Um, we just had a full moon not too long ago, the 21st, 22nd of July. So it's probably around that time for the full moon. But check, and it's also, this isn't quite full. So it's something to do with the moon phases or the moon. Uh, moon to the King of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Uh, emotions running high, possibly. Um, the moon can talk about hidden things being revealed or I keep hearing hidden talents or maybe you're coming into your own. Um, maybe you have been, I almost feel like presenting, maybe you're something you're not. Maybe people don't know the real you with the moon. Because, you know, if you take this, she looks like a girl and then she's some type of sea creature. Um, Moon can be about dreams coming true. It can be about a path opening up, things being revealed, knowing something that was hidden. Truths will come out. And the King of Cups can be all about emotions and feelings. And it's interesting because the tentacles down there. Hmm. Maybe knowledge will rise. Knowledge will you'll have you'll you'll know it by the end of the month whatever it is that you are coming into or learning or discovering and this could be about yourself it could be about work it could be about you know with the emotions here how far are you willing to go is what i keep hearing how far are you willing to go decisions to be made there's moon energy there's also again this um you know kind of what i said with this card with the moon card maybe somebody doesn't know you maybe somebody doesn't know the real you maybe you're not being seen for the real person you are but with this with her wearing that on her head she is so you will be being you will be seen you will be understood you will be um you will be given this opportunity for who and what you really are for, you know, all the good, all the, all the things that you are, you will be seen and heard for this. You will be acknowledged for this. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. It's really you getting to know you, you trusting yourself. Trusting yourself and making the decisions whether to continue the way you're going on or to move forward and to maybe travel, maybe get more into um, leadership. All right, we're going to take a look at health, career, finance, and love. The moon's a card of... Um, The moon is a card of Pisces. Health, career, finance, and love. That one jumped right out. Okay. Aries, your health talks about rabbit, pregnancy, and fears. So you could be pregnant. You could be wanting to get pregnant. You could have trepidation and fears around pregnancy. You could be afraid that you're pregnant. Um, you could maybe be trying to get pregnant and you have fears that you can't or your partner or somebody in your life. Um, but you know, this is your card for your health. Uh, maybe you're fearing something's wrong in the pregnancy or your partner's pregnancy. Um, let's see fears. Also with rabbit, there could be some issue with this since this is your card for health. Aside from, you know, if you're not pregnant and if your partner's pregnant, then you're coming into, maybe you're having fear that things aren't going to go well or something could happen. 
um, maybe they are overshadowing your own health. So to me, this is telling you to take, if this isn't you, if you're not pregnant or wanting to be pregnant or anything like that, take care of yourself because if you're not good, you know, if something happens to you, how is all that going to work out? Um, so make sure you don't put yourself on the back burner. Make sure you take care of yourself. If you're having issues, go to the doctor. If you are, you know, um, if you do your regular checkup, go ahead and have your regular checkup done. Your career is flowers, romance, and sweetness. So again, it just goes with these two cards and almost with the six of wands. It's almost like they're wooing you to something. They're, they're making the offer sweet. They're, they're adding things to it. They're, they're um, courting you, as they say. They're courting you with the romance and sweetness in your work. So it could be a job promotion, something they want you to do, something they want you to um, move forward on or extend on. And I feel, again, with the, the tentacles, with the moon hiding something, but yet something's going to be seen by the end of the month. Your finances are slowness and protection. So I feel like your, fi your finances are growing. I feel like you have a lot of protections into place. I feel like um, you are more of a miser is not the right word, but you, you and hoarder is not the right word, but you're, you are holding on to your finances or you are protecting your finances. You might have them in different um, diversified accounts possibly to protect them. Um, but I feel like slow and steady, you know, you're getting savings built up or slow and steady. You're, you're regaining something that maybe was lost or maybe something that was um, maybe slowly draining. Maybe you had some type of issue and it was kind of slowly draining your finances. And now you're building it back up, possibly. And love. We have scarab. Nourishment and transformation. Hmm. So with love, nourishes the soul. Transformation. If you're in a relationship, you could be going through a phase that uh, had to culminate. Almost like the tower card. Had to break down before you could transform and build back up. You had to get to a place. You couldn't have got there three months ago or four months ago. It had to come at this time in order to build it back up. And I feel now it is very nourishing for both of you. It's a healthy relationship for both of you. If you're not in a relationship, I feel that is where you, you are wanting to go. You might want to have some transformational energy. You might want to, um, or you might think you need to, transform in some way in order to be loved and in, in order to be liked or however um nourishment to me is the key here it's make sure you if you are dieting or exercising make sure you're doing it correctly and also make sure that um when you're in a relationship it is good for both of you and your partner it's nourishing both for both of you nourishing yourself for both of you um Hmm. Blue, this beautiful blue, I think of the throat chakra. So make sure the co communication is flowing between the two of you. I've always said 99% of any relationship is absolutely communication. So make sure that that line is open also. Um, and make sure you all are on, you know, it, it's a healthy relationship with the nourishment. Make sure it's healthy. All right, let's pull one more card from the Enchanted Map Oracles for Aries. Last thing Aries needs to know for Peaks of Joy. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, I just feel like sometimes you just have to go for it. Sometimes you just have to um, leap in the net will appear. Here's that transformational energy, that butterfly. She's leaping into that. You know, she sees it can fly, it can, you, she can fly too. Um, so happy, you know, it's like jumping for joy, leaps of joy in a healthy way. Three is the number of change. So there, again, a lot of changes taking place. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today. No matter what you inquire, you will be happy with the results. Your 
coming closer to a sense of achievement, right? Six of Wands. Um, and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are all synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart. And remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. How beautiful. How beautiful. So, you know, whatever the decision, I feel like, uh, I just feel like you can't go wrong. I really do. And I feel like, you know, with the King of Cups here and you holding this on top of your head, you know, this leadership position, but it's like they're going to see who I really am. They're going to see what I'm really made of. You know, I keep getting big fish in a big pond. So by the end of the month, you know, middle of the month even, with these decisions coming up, it's going to be a, a right place for you to be. You'll be happy. You'll be joyous. And you'll be sharing it with others. You're going to have a transformational energy uh, moving forward. And uh, maybe not feeling like you've been stuck. Not feeling like you everything you're doing is for naught. You know, um, there's a reason for everything you're doing is what I feel. And you're going to see that. And you're going to feel it. And you're going to you're going to understand by the end of the month. You're going to understand why you had to go through what you had to go through to get to where you're at. All right. Aries, I thank you for being here. I appreciate you all. And if you know any other Aries that this sounds like, please feel free to share. If you know anybody that this sounds like, I don't mind. Share the video. Take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.